Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from CinemaHD and today I'm with Adrian from StatixP. Adrian, how are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> so, let's explain to our audience what StatixP is and what it does. StatixP is a new kind of uh, stabilizer. You can uh, plug on nearly all cameras, uh, DSLR, mirrorless, and of course today uh, cinema cameras. And uh, basically it's just uh, an IMU, so this is a uh, gyroscopes and accelerometers uh, just plug on your camera and perfectly aligned with the, the optical axis and uh, it will record uh, all the motion of the, the camera during the shot and after the shot you have a software post treatment uh, which will uh, take all the data which are recorded on a very small micro SD card and uh, it will uh, automatically associate the motion data to each of your videos. Static P was initially designed and made for action cameras. So now with more and more cameras like the GoPro Hero 8 and the DJI uh, Action Cam that features in-camera image stabilization, how does Static P compares to that? Compares, uh, I mean, this is the same kind of algorithm behind and uh, of course uh, it's a good thing that we have a competition on this market. Of course there is a, a huge interest to, to stabilize uh, all videos and uh, we are happy to, to, to share this market with uh, such an actors. Uh, no problem, we were the first. Probably the first, uh, I just don't know, but uh, it's, uh, it's very natural there is some competitors and no problem with that. So, Static P is compatible with every camera on the market right now? Uh, nearly all cameras, and uh, the thing is about recording mode. Uh, most of the cameras will record the sound in each recording mode, but sometimes it's not the case, because we need the sound. The, the process is to plug your Static P uh, with uh, this kind of cables. Yeah, let and me, uh, Let me show it to the camera. Yeah. So, there is a uh, 3.5 mm mini jack input and uh, it's a video input. Yeah, this is optional, this is for Genlock, uh, Genlock cable cameras. Uh, so this is not uh, especially useful, uh, especially in cinema uh, application and uh, shootings. Uh, but uh, you, you don't really need, need it. Uh, what you need is the, is the 3.5 mm jack. So uh, this is a stereo jack, but the, the signal is, uh, is a balanced signal, audio signal. So you can either record on a unbalanced DSLR on both tracks or on a one mono track balanced on a XLR input, uh, cinema cameras, etc. If you use this kind of uh, Y splitter, uh, Y input splitter, you can plug it to your camera and then you can plug uh, static P on one track and you have another track for a mono audio recording uh, uh, microphone. So can you actually shoot in slow motion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you have uh, audio recorded on uh, your, uh, your video, uh, there is no problem with, uh, with uh, high frame rate. Yeah, so on cameras like RED cameras and uh, the GH5 in uh, variable frame rate modes uh, that doesn't record audio, it doesn't work. It doesn't work internally, but uh, of course you can uh, use an external recorder as uh, Atomos uh, with uh, 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 microphone uh, input on the Atomos to get uh, to get the shot. And can you use uh, Static P with every lenses and every focal length, or are you limited to wide angle only lenses? Wide angle is the best uh, focal for you to begin with TEDxP because you have to, to, to recalibrate yourself uh, with motion in filming. And to start, it's better with wide angle. But of course, it works with very long focal too. Uh, we personally have made a test to 80 uh, equivalent uh, full frame. 
you have to ex to to understand that if you are handheld, especially if you are running with TeleX Pay, which is of course one uh, application case, you must of course use wide angle because you have a lot of amplitude within your motion. With a long focal, you will be okay, but only with small vibrations. And can you use it with a smartphone? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, so can you show me how you mount it on a camera? Obviously, it features uh, a cold shoe on the bottom, but how do you mount it? In which direction? Can you show us? Yes, this is very important. The cables on SteadyXP are on the left side of your camera. So perhaps if you turn the camera like this, it's okay because all the cables are on the left. So you can use the static speed like this, like this, like this, like this. If you have a solution to mount it like this, it's, it's okay. But you can't turn it like this. It's not possible. Okay, so as long as you can mount it sideways with the cables on the left, you can mount it everywhere you want yeah. on your camera. Yeah, 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 definitely. Also, you told me that you need to calibrate each lens with your camera in order to make uh, static speed perfectly workable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, today, uh, with the software, we already calibrated uh, 120 lens, I believe. Uh, so for the main uh, uh, configuration, you have already camera profiles for each lens and recording mode uh, for the, the most uh, well-known cameras. Of course, we will uh, add more camera profiles within the, the next month. But uh, yes, you have to calibrate uh, your recording mode plus lens at least once, once and for all. So I can download uh, a profile. Um, on your website and just use it or I, do I have to calibrate my own lenses with my own setup or can I just use a, a generic uh, profile? Ah, you can uh, share with other people, you can use our profile. I mean, if it's working for your configuration, I mean, this lens, this specific lens with uh, these cameras, it will work on uh, every uh, same configuration. So yeah, once and for all. I'm here with Dan Nis. Dan, nice to meet you. Can you just Introduce yourself to our audience. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Dan Nice. I'm a director of photography in Los Angeles, California. And for 28 years, I was a steady cam operator. Obviously, you shot multi-million dollars uh, feature films that everyone saw. Can, can you just list a, a few so our audience can get a, a better ID? Well, with, with uh, as a steady cam operator with David Lynch, I did Blue Velvet, Wild at Heart, Twin Peaks, the series, Firewalk with Me, the Twin Peaks movie, uh, Lost Highway, Mulholland Drive. With Wes Craven, I did uh, The People Under the Stairs and shot the open for Scream with Drew Barrymore. Jackie Brown as A Cameron Steadicam. And then I also did Steadicam for Quentin Tarantino on on Grindhouse, on the Death Proof segment of Grindhouse. And uh, th 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 yeah, there's there's a, there's a lot. You know, I have to, I can't remember. I have to look on IMDb because I don't remember what I've done. So you know a bit about how to operate a Steadicam, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and how does SteadyXP can help Steadicam operator in their day-to-day -day life? SteadyXP would be really great to keep on a Steadicam all the time, just to allow positioning data of where the camera is in case you ran into a situation where it was windy. Or, or you were on a, a, an environment where you had a lot of vibration or a lot of things that might affect the steady cam other than, than what the system is capable of doing, which the system can do a lot. Where the, the steady, steady XP would come in is for very subtle corrections in steady cam movement. Um, because the steady cam itself is, is very smooth, but there are times where you pick up uh, vibrations and things from other sources. And for how long have you been using steady XP? Uh, I've been using the, the beta version for about six months now, and in, 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 the, in the beginning it, it took me a little while to figure it out, but the software is getting much better. I've seen the latest version of the software on this trip and it's quite good now, and we've gotten some really good results in, in the test that we've been shooting here. And can you think uh, Static Speed can be used on multi-million dollar film sets right now? Uh, I think it's, it's reaching that point. The, um, once once they build up a, 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 a library of calibrated lenses, I think, yes, that probably could be the case because it takes a little while to calibrate the lenses. You have to have a chart and you have to shoot them from several different angles so the computer can process that and make a lens profile. 
for, for the camera and it's that search setting. But once that library is put together, yes, it could be it could become like a standard on on uh, cameras yeah. that you just when you put like if you put the lens on or if you put the onboard monitor, if you put the Stat XP on, and you always have positioning data for the camera wherever it is. And it's not like some cameras claim to have a built-in gyro or, or, or positioning, but this the Stat XP gives much more information. It doesn't have just the one gyro. It has it's got at least two plus more more uh, hardware in there. Thank you for watching our first hands-on review with SteadXP, a promising post-stabilization system that can work on various cameras. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.